over Edge of Desire without a looper? I wouldn't. I just like you mean like solo, right? Like So if you're doing like If you were doing I, I mean like you you wouldn't need to unless you were going to I would get into a chord progression, I'd be like Like how do you how the fuck do you improvise like that? Okay, so I'll tell you. The trick. <laughs> You're too kind on TikTok. Okay, so the trick to what I'm doing right there. Okay, so if I'm going in and I'm gonna be like, all right, how do I improvise? The the trick to improvisation is um don't worry about the scale. So you just saw me do a bunch of shit there and you're like Oh my god, what the fuck is he like how do you know how does he know where the scale is? I'm thinking rhythm first. First thing is That's what you want to think first. So that's exactly what I'm doing first. I know where my stress beats are. And then the second thing I'm going to think of is where's the chord progression? So I know I've got an A chord here, and then the next chord is a D, and then I've got a B minor, and then I've got an E, and wherever you like to go, you play, and then you come back to A, minor, a, a major. So I've got a one, a four, and then a two, and then I've got a five, and then I've got a one. Now, wherever the guitar, I, I am thinking, so the reason why that's number two is because that's going to map where my licks are going to go. So you know how we're talking about you got to get the rhythm in and then you got to get the chords and then you fill only as good as you can fill. You don't want to be going like... You don't want to do stuff like that. You want to start really simple. So I'm going to go, I've got... Four. So that's how much time I've got. Uh, and that's when I got to hit the next chord. So I know from that point, from the very first strum, I've got that much time to get to my four chord. And in that time, I can either strum a chord or I can fill with a guitar lick in the minor pentatonic. So you find the pentatonic space that you want to be in. So when I play that one major chord, I'm like over here, right? And then I'm like, all right, I'm coming straight to the four chord. So I got. Now my next chord is going to be the two minor, and I'm going to go over to here.
on major. Distracted. But does that make sense? Is that, am I, do, am I like pulling that apart in a really, really fun way? Like, does that click with you guys? You need to learn how to use a pick. I mean, you can do it with your fingers. Like, it's, it has nothing to do with your right hand. It has everything to do with can your brain separate the rhythm, then the chords, and then fill without getting carried away. Because a lot of people think that they had to come up with the sickest guitar lick. But it's not about the sickest guitar lick. It's about can you respect the timing and then can you respect the chord progression and then can you fit any idea that you're capable of in between all of that. And it, and it goes in that progression. You never fuck up the timing and you never mess up the chord changes. You always want to land on the chord changes and then your guitar licks matter. And a guitar lick doesn't have to be like, all right, every time you play a chord, go to the minor pentatonic. You could just play the chord. You could just play an arpeggio. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. There's no, no crazy, crazy like genius thing happening here. There's like, uh, if it feels like it's a genius thing, then that's like, like any of you can do this. If you sat down and practiced this enough, you would get it down quite quickly. Um, 